Hello and welcome to PKR TV, the next generation of online poker. Coming up on tonight's show, the final table of the Sunday High Roller. From 110 runners, we are down to just six. They are playing for a first prize of $4,400. We have a wealth of talent at the final table, not least the deadly Dutchman Barky Boy. And in the commentary box tonight, Dan Grant and WSOP champion Scott Shelley. Four and a half grand for the winner of our elite Sunday night contest. I and for you, at even stacks, old, old. who would you choose, my man? Has to be Barky Boy, really. Yeah. On form, on what I've, we've seen. I would imagine if they were all even stacks, he would be quite a solid favourite. Just would. because he is... Check. He's the man. We've seen some... Yeah, I'm not going to kiss his ass or anything, but he's definitely <laughs> one of the better tournament players on the site, by a margin. Yeah, we were three-way to the flop, but uh, Art Blue Fold. takes the initiative and takes first blood. Chip leader is Sunner G from Inverness. 49th final table for the Scott. And uh, Young, well, Young Chevsky, another one. Really good, solid player. Yeah, that's right. Ship leader's uh, second in a high roller, so looking to go one better this time. Barky Boy with a list oh, as long as your arm of uh, incredible results on PKR. You certainly oh, won this one before. And uh, Barky's certainly not going to call that. Not at this stage. Flutie has actually won... Uh, one of this year's high stakes championship events, the fifty dollar rebuy he took down for thirty six hundred. Nice. Yeah, one hundred and ten runners. Fold, fold, fold. In this event, down to just six. And Art Blue. I'm all in. I like the way. I mean, we've only been going a couple of minutes, but I already like the way that this Kiwi goes about things. Was it Chuckler in the blind next to him there? Yep. Okay, I um, wasn't sure why he just shipped, but Chuckler had yeah, a really short start, yeah. Fold. That's why I presumed it was. Oh, Blue gets out of the way. It should be a nice Fold. shove. Fold. No, he's going to go for Fold. the... Yeah, forex. 11 Bit big blinds. Bit of an odd line to take, the forex. Well, I guess... All in. He's he 10 foot for a little while there, just to... David. Probably thinking about what I said. Well, he's the chip leader, and he can afford to put 50k on the line, and uh, he's got to dodge a club. He does so, and that is uh, sixth place, $792 for Chuckler. And uh, well, five away, nothing from Barky Boy yet, but here he is, the min raise with uh, the suited 7-5. Art Blue might well fancy floating Fold. here, Fold. but he does not. Instead, it should be what is an easy shove. I'm all in. No choice whatsoever. And a relatively quick fold, you'd imagine. From yeah, Barky. you would indeed imagine. He's not going to be giving him a spin, so to speak. We've got a New Zealander and an Australian. You'd imagine it was... Fold. Well, these guys have been at it for five hours. So it's something like seven or eight in the morning Rest. on a Monday morning. What, cool. for them? For them, oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. yeah. The high roller starts at like... 5.40 GMT is my guess. That's what it says. 5.40 GMT? Oh, yeah. That's what it says. Eyes down, here comes the floor. No, it doesn't. Well, you know... It starts really late. Hmm. Check. That's wrong. Got a Sunday high roller. Or maybe okay. on Sunday it's yes. earlier. I'm pretty sure it's not though. Yeah, okay, well. Pretty sure Race. it's like nine o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Well then it'd be even later, so respect to these boys for doing it on a Monday morning. And, uh, Barky. Barky is ahead. Right, check. Check. And here's the river. Well, yeah, not ahead. He had a chance of winning it outright, but he did not. And a fairly uninspiring chop in prospect. Fold. Okay. 
Barky reads his opponent for more. Doesn't want to call for a chop at best, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he's only beating a bluff. <clears throat> he's chopping or losing to any hand that's betting for value, but... Yeah. Young Chevsky going for his first Sunday High Roller title. He is a specialist in the Monte Carlo. Five wins, all in 2012. But it's Son of G. He came in as the chip leader. Fold. Opens. Gets a three bet from Art Blue. I'm loving this guy so far. He wants this title. Son of G asks the question. He peels in position. Let's see the flop. Nothing for anyone, and uh, you'd expect Art Blue certainly isn't going to just check fold. No, I'd like to see some size, some good size in here, like yeah. 40. Oh, he's even bet less. 35. I like it. Wow. He bet less than what I thought. Right. And, well, it got the job done, so yeah, no, I guess no, no, I was, the question... I was never expecting to bet less. I thought it was going to be a lot more than what I thought. Right. I mean, when so choosing good. your bet sizing there, he only had 200 left. There was yeah. 97 in the pot. The question is, what's the smallest amount that will get the job you done? Can, that's can, how you decide, right? Yeah, like 35k, I think, is a great bet there right. because oh, it's, a, it's a flop right. that's not going to hit your opponent a ton. And it's going to do the same job as betting double that amount. Min so why risk like losing double the chips? Board. Yeah. Min raise from Young Chevsky. Min re-raise from Flutie. Do alarm bells go off? Cool. He peels. Not for that price. Here comes the flop. Well, he's a. He'll think he's ahead of Ace Queen. Right. Not a lot else. Min raises, right? Pocket yes. sixes isn't going to put Ooh. the min raise in there pre-flop. So Cold. yeah, well, seven jams. wasn't enough. Oh, Flutie's only playing. Ah, see. Mm. So I would have liked a flat call from Flutie there. With that stack. Right. Even though it's. Pretty obvious to me they've got a big hand. Yeah. They might get away with it. Well, the min raise is definitely the worst of the three options, in my opinion, now. Flatting or just shoving. And pre-flop, when you open with the suited ace uh, to 10 and then raise. get raised to 20, and you your don't... opponent's only got like 50 or 60 behind, yeah. are you are you flatting it and then going to a flop? Or do you just figure, I'm going to get out of the way here. You've got no odds, really. Yeah, you've got no implied odds, mm. but it's just like the, the immediate price you're getting is so good with a suited ace right. where you're going to be like... right. 30% at sure. worst to every hand apart from aces. Well, oh, gut shot and two overs for Son of G, plus the chip lead. Yes, yeah, sir. All adds up to a 20,000 bet. Flop. Decent looking flop for that hand. I like it. You know you're a professional poker player when backdoor draws are the first thing you think of, right? No, nah, I've got gut shot to the nuts, mate. <laughs> right. We've got four cards in the deck that give us the absolute <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, backdoor clubs <laughs> always adds, they, they adds, to the, adds to the grin on my face. <laughs> uh, son of nice. G certainly wants to continue to put fold. pressure on his opponents. Nice. I fold. I like the jam there. Yeah, and uh, looking at these five, uh, no one is a shrinking violet, I don't think. Everyone's playing their particular stack size particularly yep. well. Chippy gets out of the way. And a monster for the aggressive Kiwi, Art Blue. He's going to love this. Oh, he's getting some action. Yeah, even without the 10s, people oh. might just uh, figure that he's at it. Ah, oh, but there we go. It's an easy shove for Flutie, but uh, he's going to see the bad oh. news. Yeah, he's go. got two outs or a bunch of clubs. Oh, got two of the clubs. Oh, there's another. Have I boxed someone else today? <laughs> no. Good oh, game. it's almost even worse to get the sweat and then not get yeah. there. Awful. Um, two Brits gone in sixth and fifth. That is $1,073 for Flutie. Four remain. I think it's worse to hit your set when you can't win. Mm. That's like the ultimate rub down. Oh, I don't I think thought. so at all. Because if you can't win, you I just I look away. That's it. I don't no, care like, what happens oh. from then on. Yeah, but... Oh, God. You can tell you don't play this game. Well. <laughs> Such a mug. <laughs> down, here comes the flop. Check. Stick to him pretending like you know what you're talking it's about. It's up for rolls, man. It's up for rolls. Come on, mate. Can I borrow 100 I Gs? I fold. Fold. Can we play heads up? The loser has to be the slave to the other one for like a week. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, I don't need a slave. Oh, I'm not going to ask. 
<laughs> no, I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> Wait, I will finish that. I will finish that. I will finish that quote. <laughs> I don't need a slave. I have a fiance. <laughs> <laughs> she would never listen to this show anyway. So that way, that's, I'm going to make fine. sure she hears this I, episode. I wasn't actually going to say that. It's because like my house is clean and shit. But and I don't like, want. I don't. I don't want. I don't you need to, anything done. I won't get you to clean my house. Look myself, bro. I get you to do some fucked up shit. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm going to need wait, massive odds wait, I get you to what go on, like, I get? you can go on all fours to be my footrest for like four hours while I'm oh, playing poker at least no. I'm your footrest if I'm on all fours here we go new hand <laughs> you're becoming more like Ash every day <laughs> it's, it's disturbing yeah I know Art oh. Blue cool. with the King Jack quick defence from Son of G and uh, check. wow, check, check. Son of G was, I guess, I mean, it's a fantastic term for him, but uh, Art Blue, you'd imagine he's not going to get involved now that he checked the flop, I but he raise. does kind of back to front way of playing this hand. Yeah, I mean, he's taking the line to represent the ace, but it's just unfortunate that his opponent has one. And Ooh, he's gonna... and he, yeah, he snap checks behind. I like that. I mean, he's got showdown. He's got actually the nut, no pair. Yeah, and he's uh, and if he's feeling a little bit yeah. results orientated, he'll realise that he would have lost more if he bet the flop. Yep. But yeah, he can, he can beat a flush draw at the end, so it's, it's worked out nicely for him to check back. Yeah, I mean, seeing that someone was eager to represent the ace shows like at least a minimum level of yeah. ability, doesn't it? And he's shown more than that anyway. But uh, and actually. Pro uh, probably the least involved of any of these players at this final table is Barkley. He's, he's been handcuffed. I mean, he's going to wait for a spot where he thinks his profit will get his chips in, and it's just its really unlucky for him here. It's just a bit of a six-up. I mean, he's got... Yeah. He had, like, 12, 13 bigs, and they're playing five-handed. It's such a shove. He just walked into one of the hands that dominates him. Yeah, that's a bit of a cold deck for him. You're right, he had no chips the whole way and uh, couldn't really get creative. In fact, he got creative once. He had 170k right. and put yeah. 10k in with a 7-5 of clubs. But that was, well, uh, yeah. as soon as he got down below about 150 grand, there was just well, no chance for him to get involved. Yeah. It's, it's frustrating in those spots there when you just literally, you want to get more involved, but you know it's not pro pro profitable yep. to do so. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, Barky Boy gets fourteen hundred and three dollars. We will see him again. Of that, I'm sure. I definitely oh. plus one to that. Yeah, uh, and actually, we have three. The last four players at this final table, quality. In fact, all of them are quality. But we are. Your really favourite's been Art Blue. Come on. Yeah, it has. I think. He's played really great. <laughs> no, 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 no. He just, just as I say that, he finds the free bet. He's the man. He just loves to I'm gain that momentum. I'm not a fan of the peel with the seven five though. No, indeed. But both of these right. have been at each other, and they're fairly deep too. I mean, bad. Well, he's obviously got a plan. Does your boy it's have? A, it's just so weak. I think that play is like. But the thing, oh, Artie Blue's only got 212. If he ships it in now, wow, he yeah, is my hero super of the week. Risk. Yeah. He's my hero of the week. Nice. From Son of G, I mean, do you think he understood the stack sizes to an extent where he could, he can afford to put 40 or 50 in there and it's a really nah. precious situation for his opponent? I really don't like it. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Art Blue. Art Blue's got 200 now. It's got to be, uh, oh, well, actually, yeah, it's not. It's over 30 bigs. Yeah. Raise. He's like yeah. never calling or passing oh. there, is he? Ever, this guy. Bold. Like it, snap fold doesn't waste time. Mm. So you think dealers, 60 second or Here we go, new hand. 90 second clock for dealers on every player's decision pre-flop? Or do you think that... That's too long. Such a, oh, you think it's too long? There definitely should be some tournaments where like, the shorter the blind structure, the faster the blind structure, the shorter the... But it's not even clock. that, it's like... Look Actually, at this, that is a long time. Look at level one or two of the e, an EPT, for example, yeah. and you've got like 10 billion big blinds, and it's gone, it's folded to you in middle position, and then you're like, <laughs> well, I'm going to think for two minutes. And then and the it's part. just like, yeah. perfect. It's like, I raise. you're never going to need more than really 10 seconds, 10, yeah. 15 seconds to know what you're going to do. Here goes Art Blue. He hates it, and he keeps running into these spots where people are raising him, and he can do nothing but pass, and now he's... Struggling a bit, he gets shown the ace. But uh, rocky times for the Kiwi. Yeah. 
Son of G, 772,000. Came in as the chip leader and has done nothing wrong. Yeah, I think this is going to play itself. I think he's got enough to call. Yeah, That's way, way enough. Yeah, makes the call. Virtual race here. Yeah. Looks to be a double up for Young Chevsky. So it is. Yeah, absolutely is. And this is kind of an intriguing contest. Certainly no guarantee that the chip leader is going to go on and win this. But Art Blue needs to get something going here. Fold. Got that awkward stack where he can't really do anything. I call. Let's see the flop. Well, action expected on this one. Bet. Raise. Well, he's committed himself. He only would have had to call another 100, 110. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I think I would have preferred a flat there a lot of the time, the flush draw. Right. Just because it's a sort of flop that's going to hit your opponent a lot. And if you do get it in, you know you've only got the naked flush draw, like your four is probably not going to be good. Right. Oh, blue still. Raise. Yeah, he's, he's going to try and get this going. Yeah, I guess he can still get away. 150k behind. Don't defend this, please. <laughs> oh. Well, I can tell out of the three, you're just slightly less impressed just with Just frustrating. It's just... But they've been at each other the entire time, these two. For free and, bet or uh, fold, though, it's, right. just, it's just a hand that flops so badly. Okay. It's like, it's probably one of the first Let's hands I could say I don't want to be dealt wow, with. Wow, he floats. But the thing is, it's not about, he doesn't want to flop anything with his jack five. He just wants to get post flop and outplay the guy. Okay, if that's the case, then. But it's high risk strategy it's and just, oh. high variance, he's too. He's doing it. Yeah, he has done it. And, it, and, and it's big stack versus small stack, you know. He's just chopping the legs away from his opponents. And he's just feeling like an absolute boss. Yeah, he is. He is feeling like an absolute boss right <laughs> yeah. now. You know? Oh, the Jack Five! They're gonna see <laughs> what this. a play! <laughs> if that was we play any two now, oh here. my god, we would be hearing it. Yeah. You'd be reading about it in yeah. in real time. Oh, what god. a play! That's all you would hear. What a champion, Dunsky! So that's what, not a good accent. What a treat! What a treat! I raise. Aren't blue. No surprise. Yet again, Eyes down. Here comes he's the not afraid to play really See, trash hands out of position. I prefer this flat than the jack five. Okay. Just because this can actually flop a lot better than the jack five. And he's done it again, but he, he's leading and you, you almost never right. see this in these spots. It's weird because they've, they've led with the worst hand a lot of the time. Now they're leading with the best hand, he's been raised. Yeah, but you, I get the impression that he's leading almost in order yeah. to induce from his opponent, who he's seen done, do that with nothing a lot of times. Wow, and... Uh, if he bets River here, is he betting for value or as a bluff, Dan? I fold. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you said I don't know anything about poker. I've asked you I that, know. but you just told me he's inducing action on the flop. I believe. So he, he was betting the River for value or as a bluff. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. I would say... Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick uh, <laughs> I'm looking for the time out here. So That's, I don't it. Know what to That's it. Just just give up, mate. But I feel like up. that he led for value and called I mean. thinking he was ahead on the flop. I, I don't know why he did that on the river. It is strange. Someone did that to me the other day. I free bet someone on PKR in a tournament. I bet the flop and then they led the turn onto a four card straight. I passed my hand and they showed me two jacks on like a nine high board and I asked them was it for value or bluff and they couldn't respond either. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like I don't get these people like it was the best hand right. but there's no way he could be betting for value on that board with Jax but yeah I fold okay one from the Dansky Academy <laughs> free to enter that particular academy shock yeah get ready new hand well he has been chip leader that the entire final table but uh, there have been a couple of cracks. Oh, your Art Blue's um, got a hand that I kind of like. Oh, yes. It could hold. Oh, yes. No king. Oi, oi. <laughs> and apologies to Young Chesky, yeah. but I'm loving Yeah, I that. have to apologize to Young Chesky because I do play with him a lot as well. Yeah, I kind of didn't want these two to take each other on, but uh, yeah. now Art Blue's got some ammunition. 
Uh, young Chevsky, you'd imagine. Yeah, he's uh, struggling a bit. 11 bigs. Let's see the hasn't got 11 bigs. Really? I thought... Oh, no, no, He's got 20-ish. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That was a min raise. Yeah, it? I don't mind the min raise. Free-handed, I think you're allowed... Not, not, wouldn't say you're allowed, like, there's rules, but I'd say you can... All right. You can open fold off short stacks than you might do on a full ring table. Like, of 20 bigs, I wouldn't open and fold, but maybe free-handed. Right. Because you have to be a little bit more active, yeah. otherwise you're Like, here struggle. it's worked out perfectly. He's flopped top pair. Yeah. And he's got the donk lead into him, so... You think there was need to shove rather than to... I probably, I probably yeah, I'd probably call there. Because your opponent is not likely to call with nothing there, I but think he does seem likely to do strange things. It's the things. fact that he's led literally every time in a raised pot into the razor that I would just flat because obviously his range is huge there. And you figure like he's going to do that on the turn too, yeah. so it's free money. Not only that, your stack's in the situation where you oh, can get it on the turn. Oh, wow. Really unlucky here for young Chevsky. He's played oh, nicely the whole way down, and he's totally it's unlucky to run into the... He's got the heart. Oh, oh dear. Here comes the river. Unlucky. Yeah, the Australian goes home with 1,931. Uh, no Sunday high roller title for the Monte Carlo superstar. Uh, he did well, but it just wasn't enough on the day. These cool. two, come on, baby, one time for the massive comeback. But I just don't, I feel like Sunaji can do anything and he's still going to win this. Yeah. Limps. It's on Art Blue. He's got Jack Seven. He opts not to shove. Let's see the flop. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Well, he's got a flush draw. He's actually a favorite. Is he going for the check right. raise? Sunaji bets 11. There's 30 grand in the pot. You'd be happy to add that to your stack if you're Art Blue. But do you think it's just... It's a spot where it's you could be drawing oh, dead. Right. Okay. Like, I'm not a big fan of shoving there just because he's got no pair and his flush draw could be locked up. Okay. Like If he had a bigger club... Or if he had or less the, chips. If he had less chips or if yeah. he had a pair right. with like the seven of clubs and fair be it. Okay. I think he can wait for a better spot. All right. He's he's got a playable stack heads up. But, uh, th this is certainly the battle that's been going on for the last half an hour. Uh, that's more off his stack. Art yeah. Blue's down to a stack where he can't really afford to raise fold now. I think he's definitely going to get a chance in a heads-up battle. Sometimes the short stack's going to have to pick up a hand and get some action from an opponent who cool. isn't just going to give like an easy double up to you. But yeah. you get the impression here that this chip lead is going to give you a chance. He's going to give you a spin. Yeah. We'll see what he does here. I'm not sure why this um, Art Blue's just gone for the, the raise because Son of G's shown that he likes to peel. Oh, and he does. You're yeah. right. He peels. And now with Ace 3 out of position, you miss... Oh dear. If he checks, Son of Jesus is going like, to probably stick him in. Yep. He's got a double gut shot. Would you object to the move in here? Just the okay. open shove? Just this 52k out there. Now I just, he's got 98. How? I just hate the the, the raise pre-flop. Right. You have to shove there just because look at the situation he's in now. Son of G chooses not to. He's got... I mean, he thinks he's probably getting trapped. That's he's, why. Son of G's got a double gut shot. Yeah, I said that. Oh, Jack really? was seven. <laughs> I tend to only Come listen on. to myself on these shows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Can someone order me a taxi, please? <laughs> um, anyway, back to Dansky's X Factor review. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jermaine. I'm going to talk to like Jermaine for the rest of this episode. <laughs> now it's more like this. <laughs> that was a good bet there by Sonichi. It's Theo Walcott. What's he doing on X Factor? Nah, he's, nah, he's, he's, work. he's, like, he's like Theo Walcott's like... Little four year old brother, lame, or uh, yeah, who speaks like this? <laughs> it's not like that, <laughs> right? It's really soft spoken, like right. this. Moving on, <laughs> uh, well, Art Blue has opened, gets another peel from Son of G. Oh, wow, we just love Oh, the game. wow, that's oh, my so god, it's that's so just sick. There's one more describe that. that's absolute filth, <laughs> right? That is pure and utter filth right there on your screens, yeah. Uh, this is just because uh, he's got Queen Nine. Well, it's, it's not over. It's not yeah, over. Yeah, it's true. He has got outs. Even though, as we well know, there's like one minute of the show left, so... He's got eight outs twice. Oh, dear. Let's cool. get this. Oh, and he just... Shock, that's not a three. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, check. check. And then... Uh, oh, nothing else blue. But the shove. Oh, he doesn't slow roll him at least. Oh, just another 10. <laughs> <laughs> Fitting way to end it, I think. Well, he comes in as chip leader and he leaves with the first prize of $4,455. No wonder he jumps with joy. That is a fine victory and an unorthodox one uh, for the man from Inverness. Sonaji, congratulations. So it's a Sunday High Roller title for Sunna G, who collects $4,455. Scott, your thoughts on the winner? Um, I mean, he got the title at the end of the day, but I wasn't too impressed with some of the plays he was making. I mean, he was peeling a lot of flops out of position, even just from an open or maybe from a free bet when, once he's opened the pot. And it's just, he hit cards today, but if he doesn't hit cards, he's not going to win with this strategy. And Dan, you were impressed with the runner-up. Yeah, I mean, credit to the winner. You go on to win. It's a good day for you and on PKR TV too. But uh, the runner-up for me, I, I am a bit of a member of the Art Blue fan club, obviously. Um, I thought he had everything, really. He applied pressure in the right spots. He was relentless. He took the initiative. Um, he wanted the momentum. Uh, he knows when to pass as well. And he understood stack sizes. He's got everything you need. Brilliant. Well, look, thank you, Dan. Thank you, Scott. And, well, we'll see you guys next time at the tables. Mm -hmm.